Zach and Fatima, oh, oh. your presence is not welcome. Uh, Dude, yeah. I can show you hood rat real uh, talk. No need to get physical. <laughs> Yo, you gotta go, bro. Or what? Or we'll take turns beating your ass. Mm -hmm. I'll let Zach go first. It is his baby shower. Mm -hmm. Fair. That sounds pretty fair. Okay, folks, if you guessed the hood rat duo being Zach and Fatima, give yourself a round of applause. You win because Gary called it out during the sneak peek of tonight's episode. It's basically three minutes of Gary running his mouth and everybody threatening to beat his behind if he doesn't leave. But he goes from inviting everyone except for Zach and Fatima to uninviting everyone because of their nasty attitudes and disposition. Basically, the sneak peek consists of the characters in disbelief over the fact that Andy and Gary could be back together. Andy is attempting to look afraid, but I'm just not buying it. I'm just sitting here like, yet again, girl, you got like 20 people in front of you and you can't just say Gary is, you know, attempting to blackmail Jordan. Jordan's life is on the line. Somebody please protect him at all costs. This is, he, he has these photos and he's getting the cartel. I'm like, ah, I, I don't know. I want to use a what if scenario when I compare Andy to someone else, but I feel like if I do, then people will say I'm victim blaming and all when I don't know, victim shaming It's like, you know, you know what? No, I'm not even going to say it. I might say something wrong. But what I'm saying is imagine like Andy is walking into like a police station with someone, you know, a guy that abuses her. And there are like 50 police officers around right there on the spot that she could easily just go, help, help, help. But then she just plays along like everything was okay. And I'm thinking like, yo, well, actually, yeah, this happened on the, in the heat of the night, an episode where a woman's being abused by her husband. And it took until the end of the episode for her to uh, accept the help that, you know, she was being offered by the law enforcement. Yeah, never mind. Okay. Um, but basically, I just feel like, um, yeah, it's just Gary banter. I know what the first three minutes are going to be. It's just going to be Gary banter. But again, Cheeto is eating the roll up. And like I said last week, his scene at the very end saved this episode, even though I gave it a three out of ten. But I just think that... Um, you have all these characters who are too smart to know Andy is not a willing participant in all this. Heck, even Rich is like, wait, you're about to get married to Andy, but don't you got a baby on the way? That was probably my favorite part of the sneak peek because it's like, Gary knows he killed that baby, so I wonder, but no, well, I don't know. He, uh, Andy gets him to leave and says, I'll call you later, and that's about it, but yeah, everybody is about to throw down because he makes a shot at uh, Karen's babies and then Zach is ready to fight, and then um, Rich is like, yeah, you know, oh, what oh, what are you going to do if I don't leave, Zach? Oh, we're going to beat your ass, but hey, hey, you know what? I'm going to let Zach go first because this is his baby shower. I did like that. It's like you just met Zach, but he already has respect. Like, you know what, Gary, you just took a shot at one of his twins with his uh, at his baby mama, so no, you can go ahead and get him first, Zach, and I'm next. But yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. I just, I feel like this is probably going to be a bad episode simply because Andy's going to be just, you know, walking around scared to death when she has every opportunity to get some help. But I don't know. I think the cliffhanger ending is definitely Jordan confronting her and that's going to be about it. But let's talk about it in the comments, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.